You're really going to like this next story and I'll have some amazing news to share with you this morning. But first, let me introduce you to a remarkable woman who's been waiting for a new kidney for eight years. Despite being in and out of the hospital, she continues to spend her time spreading the message of being an organ donor. Because I always had to see her sick. I'm a hug, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you so much, baby. These girls want nothing more mm -hmm. than to see their mom healthy. It would be amazing. I mean, she's already she a, a fighter. And she says, I understand what my little sister's going through. 48-year-old Mercedes Aguilar has been sick for as long as she could remember. And it's been very hard. I've been in and out of the hospital. I can't even tell you how many times. At 22, less than a month before Mercedes and her husband Alex were to wed, she was diagnosed with renal failure. Her kidneys were functioning at just 10 percent. I had people telling me, you know, don't get married. You know, she's going to get sicker and, and you're going to regret it. Two daughters in 25 years later, the Aguilars are stronger than ever. I had no idea what the ride was going to be like. Because of what they've been through. It's a roller coaster ride. Shortly after 24 year old Stephanie's third birthday, Mercedes' brother gave her a kidney. Life was great until 2010. Six months after eight year old Mia was born, cancer was discovered in the transplanted kidney. I get on the list and it's happiness, you know, like this time it's gonna happen. Mercedes says she has been on and off the transplant list so many times. Most recently, she was taken off the list after suffering a heart attack. She says it's a process to get healthy and put back on. Here I said, well, we gotta do something more. It's not about her story, it's about a lot of people's story. As a Christmas present, Alex got these decals put on their vehicles. They wave, they stop us in the street. And they say, pull over, I want to talk to you. Yeah. Since Mercedes isn't currently on the list, she can't receive a kidney. But the Aguilars say this isn't about them. It's about educating the public about organ donation. Don't wait until it happens to you or a family member to start talking about this stuff. If we get the conversation started, maybe they'll look into it and see how many people are really waiting. And as for Mercedes, she's optimistic she'll be back on the donor wait list. But I, I don't lose hope. I'm hoping that it's going to happen soon. Emily Zink, 3 News Now. Well, the amazing news I wanted to share is Mercedes family says they got the call this weekend and she is officially back on the donor wait list. She hopes now that she's on the list, things will move a bit faster. But of course, Mercedes isn't one to sit back and wait. Her family is going to take their new RV to nearby towns on the weekends to talk about organ donation. She says she hopes to reach Hispanic communities where she feels they need a little bit more education about donation. So great news there.